What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And before I get into my more serious content and news of the day, I just want to throw this out there, okay? Because I was reading something online that is, you know, um, talking about TJ and Amy, right? They've been the topic of the century for years, for, for a few weeks, right? For a while. But um, it says here they're talking about getting married. Now I know things on things online can be a little iffy, but it seems as if when those pictures are being taken, like Amy really, really likes him. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into it. So a source said Amy is close to wrapping up her agreement with her soon-to-be ex-husband Andrew, and is encouraging TJ to push through his divorce from Marilee. Now, she wants him to be free so they can get married and prove to everyone how serious their relationship is. And that was said by the source. Now, I would love to know when they say the source, who is the source? Okay? And I know we would never find out. But I would love to know who is the source. Who is the source of getting this information? Now, after sneaking around for months, Insider added they are relieved that their relationship is now out in the open. Yeah. <laughs> now, sources this also say that Amy is worth an estimate of fifty million dollars, and she has no problem supporting TJ if he has to part with most of his fortune in his divorce to Marilee Fibe. She wants the divorces over and done with. Okay, so they can move on and be happy. Another insider said. They're happy and in love. Amy and TJ's attitude is to hell with anyone else and whoever stands in their way. Hmm. I find that very interesting. Now, Amy Robach, I know she has some money, right? So, basically, she could afford to move how she moves. Meaning, get divorced, do the settlement thing, and move on. She can. She's been in the business for a long time. Her name, you know, always been circulating. As for TJ, I don't know how long his money is, okay? I don't know. And with his divorce to Marilee, okay, and now he hired another lawyer to go, up against, to go up against ABC because of the GMA network not putting them back on the air or whatever's going on. I don't know how long his money is. He may have a good penny, you know, a good penny, but... I don't think it's anything compared to Amy's, right? So, I just don't understand this. This man has been married twice. If Now, if it's true, and if he does marry Amy Robach, this would be his third marriage. But the thing is, can he remain faithful to Amy Robach? And I know she has some dealings out there, too. She's no saint, okay? But here's the thing. TJ Holmes was married to Amy Ferson, right? I don't know when they got married, but they ended their marriage in 2007, right? 2010, three years later, he married Marilee Feibig. Now, I don't know long, I don't know how long they were dating before they got married. They have a nine-year-old child together. His first marriage, they have two children together, okay? Now, 2016, I believe, he was messing around with Natasha Singh, and they had a three-year relationship, okay? A three-year relationship while he was married to Mara Lee. Mara Lee found out about this. She decided to stick beside him and work out the differences to re reconcile, you know, to work on them, getting back to being a couple, a family, and so on. Here it is now. He's... On to the next with Amy Robach. And they have been messing around for a while before him and Marilee separated and before this whole divorce thing. So it just seems to me his track record is not good. He doesn't have, it's not a good look. And Amy Robach, if it's true that she wants to marry him, do she really think that he would be faithful to her? I mean, 
do he think that she could be faithful to him? See, I always used to hear my grandma and my mom said, you know, the way you got them is the way you lose them. And it is some truth to that. You know, it is some truth to that. But my thing was concerning is, okay, <laughs> do you think this marriage will work? Do you think the marriage between Amy Robach and TJ Holmes will actually work? I don't know. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. But I do want you guys' opinion. If, I, I'm going to say this. It will work up until a certain point until the thrill is gone, maybe. The excitement is over when no one else is talking about them. They're no longer the center of attention when everything dies down. I think they may have some, some trouble. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to marry each other to prove that you're in love. You know, so I hope for that marriage thing, whoever this inside source is, I hope for that marriage thing is just talk for right now. But we'll see. Because it's, it won't be the first time somebody got married after they divorced their spouses. Okay? Especially in the news network. If you know, you know. Okay? So, yeah, that's what I want to talk about real quick. Nothing major. So, what do you think about it? Do you think the marriage between Amy and TJ will last? Do you think that all his cheating ways will stop once he marries Amy Amy Robach? Do you think that, you know, she's that deeply in love with him for them to get married? And that she has no supporting, no problem supporting him, you know, if he lost most of his fortune in the divorce. Ooh. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comment section. And listen, if you want to be rude in my comment section, I will delete your comment and I will just block you. Because there's no need to be rude. It's just conversation. I'm not the only person talking about these two and I won't be the last. Okay, so please keep it clean and nice. And that's it. That's all I ask. Be respectful. If you disagree with what I'm saying, you can disagree respectfully. You don't have to be nasty. Okay? Because if I feel you coming off nasty, I'm just going to delete it and block you. That's it. I'm not arguing with nobody in the comment section. I don't do that. All right? But yeah, I just want to throw this out there today for right now. And then later on, I got some stuff coming, you know, that we need to really talk about that is important okay so you guys have a good one and i'll talk to you later